and uh, was had been in the church. We have a long history in our family of being people of faith. Uh, we so in terms of my own faith journey, I gave my life to the Lord when I was nine. We were at Glad Tidings Tabernacle then, the Hope Centre. Prior days to that, and I remember one Sunday morning in children's church, we have a guest speaker there, and I remember they were talking about asking God into their heart, and I just thought, you know what, it's time for me to do that. But I always say, I don't think it brought much change into my life until I was about 13 when I thought, hang on a minute, if I need to take this seriously, I need to start praying, I need to start reading my word, I need to start sharing the gospel with my friends. And I remember one day I decided to do that with my classmates and one of my mates turned to me and said, how dare you take the speck out of my eye until you take the log out of your own. And I'm thinking, mate, you haven't even gone to church. How do you know that scripture? And then I thought, hang on, there's nothing wrong with me. And I need to go home and have a chat to God about that. And yeah, maybe there were some things in me that I needed to get right and sorted out. So um, yeah, from there. So that was the early days and then uh, went on, uh, was baptized in the Holy Spirit when I was about 16. Uh, and then I think the focus from then has been how do we take this message to the world? You know, I've done that number of mission trips. I think Pam and I worked out the other day, we've been to 35 different countries around the world. Uh, we lived overseas in Saudi Arabia for the time and did some amazing things. The one country in the world that um, does not allow a church building to be built but yeah god is on the move there and sometimes I, which is one of the things i you know you look at COVID now and you think of all the churches have been closed down but how much more is god doing when his people are released from a building which mm. is fantastic mm. yeah. wonderful and tell us a bit about uh the ministry side of things how did you get involved in ministry with business blessings uh, so that started, so one of my passions has always been how, how do we actually manage our money from a biblical perspective. So uh, in 2000, we helped establish Crown Financial Ministries in Australia, which is now called Compass. Uh, so for five years, we worked on that. And that's where I got to meet you, Matt, mm -hmm. all those years ago now. Um, and so from from when that period of time came to the end, God said to me, you know, I need you to work with business people. I said, don't be stupid, God. Because, I mean, as you know, we ran a seminar called Business by the Book, which I found was the hardest thing to run, I, mean, I, I, you know, you look at kingdom business is is almost the flavor of the month now. I hate to say that, but it, it's it's a very popular thing. But back then, uh, talking about doing business God's way was very rare, and we had a lot of opposition to that. But I look at those businesses now that did those seminars back then and where they are now, it's 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 amazing to see. Mm. 